Good morning and thank you for joining me. Today is a gentle yoga practice, so let's uh, meet each other at the mat in a comfortable seated position. All right, just go ahead and draw the extra skin out from underneath you. Send the heads of the shoulders on back. Palms can turn down as a, for a little extra grounding or the palms can face up. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take an inhale. Exhale. Take it again, inhale. Exhale out the mouth. And then just start to acquaint yourself with your ujjayi breath. So that's in through the nose. And out through the nose. Being mindful as to your body feels this morning. Are there areas within the body that need a little extra tender loving care? Is one side feeling a little more bound than the other? And just recognize body is doing this morning, especially as we alternate in each side of the body. So each time we come to our mat, our body presents itself differently, all the way from how we slept and what we ate, and certainly with everything that's going on, the stress that the body is taking on. So coming to the mat is a very healthy healthy physical activity for you to participate in. So allowing yourself for the next hour to just be present, present in your practice, both mentally, physically, and emotionally. Go ahead and blink your eyes open and send your arms out to the side going to have you go with a nice big wingspan here. Spread the fingers really wide. I'm going to have you take the heads of the shoulders, drawing them back, and even taking the tips of the scapulas as you draw them back. And let's flip the palms on up. So opening across the chest, and then exhale, a flattening of the palms down. And again, let's go ahead and flip those palms up. Exhale to turn the palms down. Take it again, flipping the palms up. Exhale, flipping the palms on down. I'm gonna have you just lengthen on over into the upper body only, over to your right. And you're gonna reach and reach. And slowly come back. And then reach on over to the other side. So you may start feeling this into the shoulders, into those deltoids. So I'm wanting you to wake up your abs, so start to engage a little bit more. Shift on over to the other side. And then slowly drawing yourself on over to that opposite side. And then right back to center. Let's go ahead, flip the palms up, send your arms up and over your head. You reach through the fingertips, draw the heads of the shoulders back. Deep breath in. Big exhale, settling of the shoulders. Good, inhale. And then exhale, reach your arms out in front of you. Heads of the shoulders, draw them back and in. We can let our thumbs point straight up. We can just keep reaching out in front of us. Good, 
Good, now bring the palms together, interlace your fingers and press your palms away. And have you draw your biceps in and engage your triceps. And again, feeling the deltoids engage. And then inhale to lift the arms up, frame your head with your arms and then inhale Exhale, let's tilt on over to the side. So we're not going to tilt too far. We're going to keep our head framed within the arms. And then inhale to center. And then take it on over to the other side. Now reach. Inhale back to center. And then slowly release the hands and draw the arms into a cactus position. So you may really feel those deltoids firing up now, giving the arms a little bit of a break, settle the hands on down, and dip your chin in towards your chest. Let's lengthen out the back of the neck and begin to rock your head from side to side. Rock your head on over to the right. Let's let that ear just hit really, really heavy. Bringing your chin in towards your chest and rock to the other side. Good. Bringing your chin back in towards your chest and go with some gentle neck rolls here. Just taking our time. We don't need to be in a hurry. And reverse. And then rock back and forth. And then slowly pick up your head. We're going to take this left shoulder, draw it on down, and I'm going to gently press away so that I can get some space and some opening into my lower back. And then slowly coming on up. And let's dip to the other side. Inhaling and exhaling. And then right back to center. We'll go with some generous size circles here at the top. So we're going to just swoop the chest down straighten out the arms and then come back down with a bend of the elbows and then we're going to reverse so as we're waking up the body just be really aware as to how everything feels and then lengthen through the spine we're going to send our hands back and behind us. I'm going to have you bend into the knees and then swap out the legs for an awkward seated position. So this may feel a little bit different than it did on that other side. So you want to sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Send your fingertips out in front of you and just bow forward, even sending the hips back. And then drop your head in between your bicep, getting a nice Long stretch through not only the neck, but into the lower back. And then sliding your hands back towards you and send your arms up and over your head. Exhale to twist on over to your right and lengthen through the spine. If you care to go a little bit deeper, I know some of you can bring your hand back and around to catch your inner thigh. So completely up to you. And then go with a slow unwind as you reach back up through the fingertips. And exhale, take it now on over to the other side. Just twisting as much as your body will allow you. So again, you can catch that inner thigh. You may hear a few snap crackles and pops here. And then go with a slow unwind and send 
reach your arms back up and over your head and exhale, send your hands right to your heart. Good, let's take the outsides of the knees, draw the knees in, and then we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, inhale, and exhale, inch those hips back and gently fold on forward. So we're gonna drop the head, no tight gripping uh, around the feet, so you just want that head to hang heavy. And then you'll slowly come back up and you can draw those knees on in. I'm going to have you just bring the feet so that they are hip distance apart. Hands are going to settle right behind you. Heads of the shoulders will draw back. Now I really want you to make sure that you're going to secure your feet into the mat. You're going to slowly press your hips up so you're going to come up as high as you possibly can. You're going to bring those hips up and it's optional to drop your head back. So it's a reverse tabletop. You're gonna slowly come on down, send the hips back towards the palms, let your hands rest right alongside your hips, flex your feet, inhale, send your arms up and over your head, little micro bends into the knees as you gently fold forward and you reach for your toes. If you touch your toes, great. If you don't, no big deal. Maybe your hands are gonna rest at your shins. As you're here, feel free to walk the hips back a little bit further. So I know some of you too can bring your chest to the top of your thighs. So you're just gonna do what feels right for your body. So don't ever feel like you need to do more. Take it to that extra little edge, of course, so that you can continue to grow and prosper into your practice but you also want to make sure that you're not taking it too far. Inhale, send your arms up and over your head. Exhale, bring your hands to rest in prayer at your heart. Inhale, a little twist. Exhale, towards your right. You're going to bring your left hand to the outside of your calf and you're going to twist back. Right, so make sure that you've kept your feet even so we don't want one foot slipping in front of the other. We've still got nice flexed feet. And then slowly unwind. Inhale to send the arms up. Exhale, let's bring our hands back and behind. Point your toes forward. Now we come into a reverse plank as you pick the hips up. Optional to take your head back or keep the gaze up towards the Exhale, send the hips back on down and draw your toes back towards you as you flex your feet. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale again, keeping the feet together and then we just twist on over to the other side. Look back and over your shoulder. So coming into those reverse, uh, the reverse plank, the reverse tabletop, that's helping you build a little bit of extra strength into the upper body. Go with a slow unwind and inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale again, hands back and behind. Now, if it's easier for you to go into a reverse tabletop, you can certainly bend your knees or go with those straight legs, point the toes, press the hips up and draw the head back. Good, and slowly come on down. Take a bend into the knees. And exhale, bring your arms alongside your body and lengthen your heart forward. So instead of bringing the hands around to hold on to the feet, now you've let your hands rest right alongside your hips. And then slowly come on up. Let the tops of your wrists rest behind you so you're on top of the on top of the hands. So the tops of the hands are gently pressing down. You're applying a little bit of pressure to get a stretch through the wrist. Good, and then slowly release the hands and then just shake it out. Draw the knees in, swing your legs around and let's meet in child's pose. So you're gonna go big toes together, knees apart. And you're gonna send your arms out in front of you. 
Let's stay active here in this child's pose as you're lengthening your arms out in front of you. We're still gonna have the forearms hovering over the top of the mat. You're gonna let your head drop. Good, and slowly come on up and make your way into top of the table. So we're gonna stack the bones. So as you have the shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists, the tops of your feet are gonna rest on down. You're gonna come into some cat-cow stretches as you round into the spine. And then slowly send your heart forward. Good, so just getting a really good rhythm to your breath, getting a good stretch through the abs. When you come into your cow, so it'll be all up to you how much you want to round and how much you want to arch. I take it a little bit easier on my arch, but I love to feel that rounding into the spine. Good, and neutralize. I'm gonna have you inch your knees back just slightly, curl your toes under. You're gonna round into the spine. You're gonna send your hips back into your heels. Let's get a nice big stretch into the lower back. Send yourself back up. Release the tops of the feet down. Lower down to the forearms. Go with an interlace of the fingers. Maybe you're gonna need to walk the knees back a little bit more. We'll come into this extended puppy pose as you lower the chest down. You can either tap your forehead or your chin. Good, and slowly come on up. I'm gonna have you just rest the tops of your feet on down, but you can curl the toes under if you so desire. You're gonna lower down into a modified chaturanga. Be mindful to keep the core nice and strong, so no collapsing into the lower back, leading with the heart, lowering down, drawing the legs together with strength, little cobra here, and then exhale, softening on down, pressing yourself back up. Again, curling those toes under, get the hips back into the heels, stretching out the lower back. Good, rounding into the spine. This time draw your heels in towards your glutes. So we are modified and no collapsing into those hips. So having the heels up towards the glutes is gonna help to prevent that collapse into the hips. Send the legs back really long, like a big tail behind you, little cobra. And then slowly pressing yourself up, using upper body strength, curling the toes under, and right back in to the heels with the hips. This time optional to go full chaturanga as you straighten your legs behind you or you're going to keep the knees down. Right, so as you're here, inhale and exhale, slowly lowering down chaturanga. Come through to your cobra and then slowly press yourself back up. This time we'll come to a downward facing dog. I'm gonna have you just pedal out the feet, bending one knee at a time as we gently walk in place. Send just your left leg behind and go with a figure eight into the hip. And then settle that foot down. Right leg comes behind and move around. Figure eight. And then settle the foot back and down behind you. Send the body into plank. Take a chaturanga. Maybe you drop to your knees into a little cobra. Good. And slowly press yourself up and back into downward facing dog with a paddling of the feet and walk it out. So you're doing a great job. Make sure that you are not holding your breath. And we're 
sync up in between your hands. Let's bring both feet up. You'll look up halfway. Go with a nice flat back. Exhale to fold forward. And then firm down and rise all the way to standing, lifting your arms up and over your head. Exhale, bringing your hands to rest in prayer at your heart. So as you're standing in Tadasana, Mountain Pose, we'll send our arms up and over our head. Exhale, send the arms all the way down. We'll look up halfway, and then you'll exhale to fold forward. Let your head hang heavy here. Maybe shake it with a little yes and no, maybe so. Inhale, look up again halfway. Now you're either going to bring your left hand to the outside of your right calf, or maybe you're gonna drop the fingertips just below the tip of your nose, or maybe you have a prop nearby, and send your right arm up. I always like to go with a little bend into my knees, and then you can always look up out to the side. Exhale, send that hand down. We'll look up halfway again. Go with a flat back, shoulders back and away from the ears. Exhale to fold forward. Same thing, opposite side. Right fingertips to the outside of that left calf or right below the tip of the nose. And send the arm up. So we want to keep our hips nice and even here. No shifting. Good. And exhale. And inhale. Look up. Exhale. Fold forward. Let's go ahead. Firm down. Come all the way to standing. Lifting up. Exhale, hands to your heart and arms down at your side. Let's close our eyes, gain a little bit of clarity here at the top of our mat as we study our balance. So it is likely that you will move from side to side here. Go ahead and blink your eyes open and send your arms up and over your head. Exhale, take a deep bend into the knees. As you gently fold forward, you'll look up halfway. Take both feet back as you come into a plank pose. You can drop to your knees in your chaturanga. You can come to cobra. Some of you may be coming into a full up dog and press your hips up and back using core strength when you draw your hips up and back. So be mindful that you take your navel in towards your spine and then just go ahead and walk it out here. Send your left leg behind you and let's step the left foot in between our hands. We'll drop our back knee down. So the right knee will come down and we'll send our arms up and over our head. The back foot can rest down or you can keep the toes curled under, whichever feels best to you. And then let's go ahead and bring our hands to our heart here. Little bit of balancing act going on. So you're gonna twist into the torso towards the right and you're gonna send the arms open out to the side. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, let's circle that back arm around to the front. Both arms lift up and over your head. Little twist into the torso to the left and revolve over the left knee. Sending that left arm back and around, we'll come to the front. Both arms lift up and over the head. And now exhale, hands come down to square off the foot. Let's send our back leg straight. And then we'll go ahead, send this left leg back. Take Chaturanga. Come through to Cobra or Up Dog. And press back into Downward Facing Dog and walk it out. Let's go with the right leg behind and we'll step the foot in between the hands. The knee goes directly over the ankle and we're gonna settle the back knee down. So again, you can have the toes curled under or keep the top of the foot flat and inhale, lift up. 
Notice the difference between the two sides. Good, exhale, hands to your heart. Little twist in the torso to the left and open the arms out to the side. Notice how this requires not only core strength, but inner thigh strength. Circle that left arm back and around towards the front. Inhale to lift the arms up. Good, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. A little revolve now to the right and send the arms out to the side. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, and now circle that arm back and around, lifting up. Exhale, send the hands all the way down. Back toes curl under, send your right leg back. Take your chaturanga, root to cobra or up dog. And let's press back into downward facing dog. So hopefully the body is feeling warm, waking up and warming up. And then let's go with a step. Maybe you're gonna lightly hop forward, sending the feet right next to each other. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, come all the way to standing, big lift up. And exhale, hands to your heart, other to your heart. And now we'll send our hands to our lower back, all right? Slipping them into imaginary pockets, head to the shoulders back. Lift the heart, tilt the head back. Good, and right back into Tadasana. Close your eyes again. See if you're able to maintain the balance here a little bit better. Less wavering from side to side. Check in with your breath. And go ahead and blink your eyes open. Let's inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Let's go ahead and sit down into an imaginary chair. So if the arms need a little bit of a break, you can always rest your hands in prayer at your heart. Uh, you can also bring the arms out to the side. So keep settling the hips back and down. So optional as to where you wanna put your arms. All right, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, let's take both feet back. Going Chaturanga. Come through to Cobra or up dog. And press back into downward facing dog. Sending your left leg back in behind you, we're gonna come into a crescent pose. So you can still drop the back knee down if you'd like. Otherwise, I'm gonna have you fully lift up, crescent pose. Good, inhaling and exhaling. Good, let's bring our hands to our heart. Little twist into the torso as we send the arms out to the side. Good, circle that back arm around. Good, and now we'll revolve over that left leg. Good, circle that back arm around, full crescent pose. Exhale, send the hands down, bring that left leg back. Take your chaturanga, come through to cobra or up dog. Press back, downward facing dog. So really good job, everybody. Right leg behind you, step the foot in between the hands and go with a full Lift up into crescent. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, so we're gonna open up to our left. We're gonna send the back arm around to the front, lifting up. And now we'll revolve over that right leg. Circling the arm back and around to the front. Arms up and over your head. 
exhale, send the hands down and send this right leg back. Chaturanga, come through to Cobra. And then slowly press back into Downward Facing Dog. And just pedal up. step or light hop to the top of your mat. We'll look up halfway. Feel exhale, fold forward. Let's firm down and come all the way to standing. Exhale. Bring your hands to your heart and Release the arms down. Close your eyes again, just briefly. Good, blink your eyes open. Let's inhale, reach our arms up. Get down into a chair. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale to take both feet back. Take your chaturanga through to cobra, press back ah, into downward facing dog. Left leg, send it behind you, step your foot in between your hands. Let's get the back foot to swivel down, line your front heel and your back arch up, come to warrior two. Find yourself sinking down, lengthening out over your front fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, and just windmill the arms all the way down. Back toes curl under, left leg comes back. And float through, press back into downward facing dog. Right leg, send it behind, step it through. Rear view for you. Back foot, swivel it down, open the arms, and find warrior two. Inhaling, and exhaling. Good, then send the arms all the way down, back toes curl under, take that right leg back. Take your chaturanga, come through to cobra, and let's come into child's pose. So big toes together, knees apart. <sighs> let's settle back and in. The child's pose, just taking a brief break here. to the right and bow over the top of your thigh. Inhale, look up and let's travel the fingertips back and around. And we'll come over to this left side and we'll bow over the left side. Center, exhale to fold and forward. And then slowly coming on up. And then let's bring our knees all the way together. I'm gonna to have you come into a supported child's pose. So this is where we'll bring our arms right alongside our body. We're gonna rest our chest over the top of our thighs and let your shoulders round forward. Tapping your forehead onto your mat. Feeling this openness into the lower back.
holding onto your heels, bring your forehead as close to your knees as possible. Okay, then you tap, so you're bringing your chin in towards your chest, holding on to the heels. You're gonna tap the crown of your head, so I don't want any pressure into the ground of the head. Tapping the crown of the head, and then slowly lifting your hips up, coming into this rabbit pose. Good, and slowly releasing yourself on down. Relax the hands from the heels and just rest here. Let's take it again. As we send the hips up, you tap the crown of your head. And settle the hips back and down. And let your chest weigh heavy. All right, one more time coming into that rabbit pose. Hold on to the heels, kick the hips up. on down and then slowly roll yourself on up and then let's go ahead and bring the feet around to the front all right I'm going to have you send your left leg out to the side as your right leg is in this knee because maybe it's lifted up we'd want to relax that hip flexor so you could always slide you know um, a yoga block or a blanket or a pillow anything that's going to help support that knee all right you'll take a deep breath in and you'll exhale gently fold yourself on forward so the idea is to get into the inner thigh stretch through the hamstring and let's get into the lower back and drop your head on down. We want to make sure that we're not letting our tush, our booty, come up off of the mat. So we're not trying to reach so far forward and get flat down to where we compromise and pick our hips up. We want to keep the hips down. So we settle the hips back and down and not worry about how far forward we come. Slowly bring your hands back towards you. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring our hands on the inside of the leg. I like to revolve my chest so I come open. I tilt my head back and then I'll reach my arm out and over my ear. Now some of you may even care to reach for the big toe if you can. You can go over as far as your body will allow you. Or you can just keep the arm rested right on the inside. Head goes back, throat opens. And slowly come on up. Inhale. Exhale, let's twist over the knee. Look back and over your shoulder. again as we inch our hands out in front of us and drop the head on down. And sliding the heels of your hands right back towards you. And then let's go 
go ahead and take a bend into this left leg and we'll send the right leg out to the other side. All right, so we'll sit up nice and tall. We wanna make sure that we've supported this knee if it needs that extra support. We wanna make sure, again, when we come forward, that we keep the bottom grounded, that we are not letting our hips lift up off of the mat. So we'll give a good flex to this foot, we'll inhale, exhale, begin to walk the fingertips forward. So again, recognize the difference in how each side feels. Dropping the head. rest on the inside of the leg, revolve the chest open, and either set the form down, maybe it won't set down, maybe you're grabbing a big toe, and then you're just going to reach out and over, and again, noticing the difference between the two sides, so we still want to anchor this knee down, I don't want it lifting up just because you're trying to lift so far over, that's not what it's about, and again, noticing the difference between the two sides. And slowly coming on up. And then just twisting over the knee and looking back and over your shoulder. slowly coming on up and then let's go ahead and we'll bring this leg around to the front and we'll reach our opposite leg and we'll just flex and point scrunch the toes bend into the knees and let's go with a gentle sway of the knees from side to side at center and then slowly walk your hands back towards you bring your arms out to the side and shake those legs on it all right let's go ahead take a bend into the left knee we're going to cradle the baby so I want to make sure that you have your second toe in line with your kneecap so uh, no sickling of this foot we give a nice good flex and we'll just rock it out. And send that leg over. You can either interlace the fingers around the knee and draw the knee in for a hip stretch or you can stack the knees and gently pull forward. Whatever your preference is going to be.
then sending the leg over, either interlacing the hands around the knee or stacking the bones. Inhale, exhale to fold on forward. And then slowly come the knee up and drawing this knee back in and sending the leg back out. All right, so now we're going to use our core strength to guide us all the way down onto our backs. So we'll slide on down and point your toes forward and reach your arms up and over your head and lengthen out. So I'm going to have you just hold on to your left wrist and I'm going to have you just sway slightly to the right and come back to the center. Take a hold of the right wrist and sway to the left. And then slowly coming on back, right back to the center. Reach your arms up and over your head and then with core strength, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give a gentle squeeze. And let's set the soles of the feet on down. We're going to bring our feet so that they come as wide as our mat. I'm going to have you dip the knees in towards each other. Arms rest into cactus. Separating the knees. Let's keep our right foot as wide as the mat. We're going to come into a one-legged happy baby on this left side. So either holding at the inside of the knee crease, arch of the foot, or you may be able to take your big toe and hold on to it. We want to keep this right hip down. So sometimes I put my right hand on to my right hip so that I can have it be a friendly reminder that I keep that hip down, that I don't like, uh, that I don't start to tilt off to the side. Notice the opening. So we did a lot of stuff into uh, the hamstrings today and we did a little bit of strength building even for our gentle practice. And let's slowly release this left foot on down. We'll pick up the right foot and then we'll just Again, friendly reminder, let's keep the left hand onto the left hip. Notice the difference between the two sides. That hand can rest on the inside of the knee crease or even just at the arch of the foot, whatever feels most comfortable. Just go full happy baby, holding on to the toes or the insides of the knees, arches of the feet, and feel free to just even sway side to side. And then bring the soles of the feet together. Let's hold on to the top of the feet and peel your knees away from you. Tilt your head slightly back and bring your heels in towards your groin. Take a release of the feet, draw the knees in and squeeze the knees in towards the chest and then release We'll thread the needle here as you bring your left ankle to the top of your right thigh. Weave the hands on through, so you want to either touch the hamstrings or the top of the shin. 
You're going to give a flex to this left foot. You're going to draw the right knee in and let your left elbow rest onto the left inner thigh. And so you should feel a nice hip opening. this left foot back to the mat and we'll switch sides as you bring your right ankle to the top of the left thigh picking the left foot up weave on through catch the top of the shin or maybe the hamstring right elbow rests onto the right inner thigh give a gentle flex to this right foot notice the difference between the two sides as you're hugging the knee in and feeling the release of the right hip Inhaling. And exhaling. All right, release the hands from the top of the shin, or maybe they're already behind the hamstrings. Send that left leg straight, and let's round out the ankle. Give a point, give a flex. Good job. Bend back into that knee. And slowly release the grip, bring the foot back to the mat, unwind the right ankle from the top of the thigh. Bring the feet wide, bring your arms into cactus. And go ahead and just sway the knees from side to side. Give them a windshield wipers. Drop the knees to the left. Now I like to roll slightly onto my left hip. You have this option to bring the left foot to the top of the thigh. You're gonna get a deeper stretch uh, alongside the rib cage and through uh, the, the abs here as well as through the top of the hip. So again, that's optional. So that's a little much for me this morning to have my foot there. So it's, that was a pretty big stretch for me. So just, you got to feel it out and feel what's right for your body. But I do like to give you those options. All right, let's send the legs back to center and those feet still stay wide. I Nestle my lower back into the mat, and then I'm going to drop my knees to the right, but I'm also going to roll slightly onto my right hip. And again, it's optional to bring the right foot to the top of the left thigh. So if that feels good to you, go ahead and do it. If it's a little too much for you, then you don't have to have the foot there. So some people feel um, too much pressure into the knee. We definitely don't want to compromise anywhere. And if you took your foot to the top of your thigh, release it and slowly come back to center. Let's go ahead and send our legs out in front of us. Good, send your arms up and over your head, lengthen out the body, and then hug your left knee into the outside of your rib cage. Give a gentle squeeze here. And we'll send that left leg back and down and hug the right knee into the outside of your rib cage. Give a gentle squeeze. Bring our feet as wide as our mat. Make like a human starfish because you've got the room to do so. Take a deep breath in and go. With a big exhale out the mouth. Let the body sink and settle into your mat, into the earth. Still being in this present moment as we rest here peacefully in Shavasana.
your head side to side. Take a wiggle to your fingers and your toes. Hug your knees and towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug for showing up today. Send either arm up and over your head. Gently roll to either side and press yourself on up to seated. Find length into the spine. Hands to your heart and chin in towards your chest. And I thank each of you so much for joining me here this morning. Grateful to guide you. And wishing each of you a happy, healthy, and safe rest of your day. Namaste. All right, and until we meet again, thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time here on the mat. Have a great day.